Hey, welcome to Carswell's Customs. Today I'd like to show you some repairs and mods on our new Unimog. This is the FLU 419, the military version, and it's put together by Freightliner and Mercedes. So, we'll go ahead and do a mod on the fuel system, repair the brake system, and start changing out hydraulic cylinders on the backhoe that's not attached. All right, so here's the engine compartment of our 409, or 419, sorry, excuse me. And this is the, uh, uh, the compression fitting uh, fuel line ferrule, if you, if you will, and it goes up to this switch over here. And so I had already taken this system off once because this right here was cracked inside the uh, inside that compression nut and so the line was leaking well now back in the back that one is now leaking so I'm gonna pull that entire this entire switch fuel lines off and I'm going to eliminate this loop altogether because this switch or sensor or whatever it is isn't hooked up anyway. There's the plug and the vehicle's been running fine. So we'll go ahead and pull that off and then cap those off, bleed the system, and get it running again. So I grabbed my half inch line wrenches here and I also grabbed a regular uh, gear wrench. If you don't have anything specific like that, this, this guy always works too, but since we have the right tools, let's go ahead and use them. So what I'm going to do is just pull this compression fitting off. She's in there pretty good. That is one of the... This end is the, the side that I repaired. It broke first, so... Wowzer. Maybe I can get some luck by getting the, the rear one off. So we have a half inch on the front and a 9 16 in the rear, which is very interesting. So I miked the outside diameter of the threads on the uh, um, fuel filter housing. And so they're about 0.43, as you can see on the mic. And then the inside diameter of these caps is about 0.39 or approximately 0.4, at least on that one. And the same on that. So even though the um, the compression fitting sizes were half inch and nine sixteenths, it appears that the threads on the fuel filter housing are both the same size. So with that information, I'm going to take this piece here and uh, take it to the hardware store and see if I can find some uh, brass caps to uh, cap those uh, uh, two ports off. So here's a fix for the fuel system. I have a brake union here and a plug and here is the part numbers for the adapter which is the uh, plug itself and then obviously brake fitting would be the bottom one so that's what you need to grab when you go to Napa um, I went to my Napa in Lowell Michigan and they're always very helpful and uh, so I recommend going there anyway we'll go ahead and put this stuff on the uh, um, on the fuel fil fuel filter assembly 
So here's the fuel filter assembly and the, uh, uh, the fitting for the switch that we took off. So we'll just go ahead and spin on the brake line adapter and it's 9 sixteenths, <clears throat> excuse me, 9 sixteenths. And then the plug for the fitting, and this one is 7 sixteenths. Okay, now we'll go ahead and move to bleeding the system. So I'm going to go ahead and take a 10 millimeter and loosen this up about two full turns. And we'll start with the front one and we'll use the fuel priming uh, pump underneath the left front tire here. Alright, so let's go ahead and start pumping and then we'll look up top and see what's coming out and we're looking for just fuel coming out of that bleeder screw um, and no bubbles. It's pretty much fuel. A little bit of bubbles. Let me know when it's straight fuel. Yeah, it's straight fuel. to the rear one. Okay, now we'll bleed the rear one. Down with street fuel. Nothing else. All right, so here is the uh, plug and the brake union on the fuel system. There's no leaks. We run it around the property a couple times just to verify that nothing's going to vibrate loose. And um, yeah, good uh, good fix. It primed up quick and the and the MOG started right up. So that's that's a good fix. We had the hood up. I went ahead and changed the brake master cylinder. As well. So this is from Expedition Imports, and it is not the Mercedes. It is the uh, the cheaper option, and it's worked excellent. What I did first was I un or I disconnected the brake lines from the old master cylinder, and then I force bled. In other words, I have a pressure bleeder, and I bled or forced the brake fluid up from the calipers up through these lines to clean these lines out. And I got all kinds of like rust and garbage out of it. So um, when it started pumping clean brake fluid, we went ahead and installed the new unit, which was easy. There's nothing really to, to talk about on this or to show other than start with the bottom bolt first um, due to the fact that it has spacers and um, it's very difficult to clear this, this tubing here, this pipe. But yeah, it went right on and it worked right off, right off the bat. The only thing we did was after we force bled the brake lines, I went ahead and pulled these uh, these bleeds and cracked them and had somebody bleed the brakes just like normal. Uh, kicked the kick the brake pedal down until it got firm and then bled from here, bled from here and made sure the reservoirs were filled up and it worked right off the bat. So this, this is a good buy and uh, it works excellent. Your eyelet. Okay. Come in. Push 
it all the way in. Alright, good. Let's see where we're at. Okay. You need help with that? Uh, yeah. Our cylinder has expanded just a little too much. So we've got to compress it down a bit here. Okay. Let's see what we got. So go ahead with the washer. Okay, good. All right. Woo! Look at that. All right. Now. Pins in the right way, that'll be easier. Alright, put the snap rings on. Alright, so we'll put the last of the bolt here. Let's wipe those threads off first. Tighten that up in just a sec. All right, so pulling these cylinders off, we went ahead and got this Lang tools for the snap rings. They're, the snap rings on this thing are monstrous, and you just end up breaking them or breaking tools. So go ahead and invest in this. I'll put a link in the description on where you can get it on Amazon, and uh, it's been worth every single penny. So if you want to pull your own cylinders and have them uh, rebuilt somewhere, this this is the dude right here. washer and then our final snap ring She'll stay on. There it is. All right. Woohoo! Bingo! Hey, thanks for watching Carswell's Customs. We've got a couple more hydraulic cylinders to do and some other repairs and upgrades on the Unimog. We'll keep you updated. So, thanks again.